They can order a pizza, book a cab, shoot movies, send emails, play a song, and even browse the web. They even make phone calls. The question really isn't what can we do, but what can't we do? Many smartphones these days are equipped with a global positioning system, the same thing that's in a car sat-nav device. Turn right on Roberts Road. It means your phone knows wherever it is. There is real value in, in your location being something that is available to other people. There is, provided you know you're handing out that information. While you can manually disable the GPS, researchers recently discovered the world's most popular smartphone, the Apple iPhone, had been automatically logging where users had been. Their phones had been following them. Most phones do track, most smartphones at least, do track your location. It's not a new thing. I think it was a new thing for people who hadn't thought about it before. And it, it can be confronting if someone takes your phone, plugs it into something, and suddenly there's a map of where you've been. Tell me, whose location is it? It's caused so much concern, a United States Senate committee is now investigating phone tracking. We do not share personally identifiable information with third parties for their marketing purposes without our customers' explicit consent. The issue has now been fixed, but it's prompted questions about whether phones are giving out too much information. You might not think of your photographs being a marker of where and when you've been, but that can, in effect, be what they do. By default, when you take a photo on a smartphone, it records your location. Then, if you share it on the internet, people can track your movements. You can see a map of where I've been for the last month in terms of taking photos. While you might consider that stalking, it's exactly the kind of information marketers and advertisers are looking for. From, from a marketer's point of view, it's, it's extraordinarily valuable. And, it'll, um, and access to that information will become more and more um, important. It'll just become, the, it'll underpin everything you do, really. The Perth boss of advertising agency 303 believes the balance of power has shifted in the consumer's favour. Three years ago you had three television stations in Perth, now you've got you know, 10 or 11 I think and more. You've got uh, you know, a plethora of radio stations, you used to have four or five now with digital you can have you know, hundreds. That means traditional methods of advertising have gone out the window. The consumers will be able to filter out what they want to, what message they want to receive and what they don't want to receive. So I think from a consumer's point of view, that's, um, they have less invasion uh, of, of uh, commercial, you know, inf you know, commercial messages. You know, they, they'll ultimately just be choosing what they want to hear. With location information, advertisers can find out even more about shoppers' habits. It's really about just a, you know, drilling down to the consumer very specifically and having a, you know, much more interactive relationship with them, a one-to-one -one relationship with them. It's a paradigm shift Darren Winterford is trying to capitalise on. It's a game changer. He's working on a phone application called Quicker Feet that finds out your location and lists specials from shops near where you're standing. Here's this particular deal for this outlet and they can even find directions. With one touch they can then say, OK, well where is this deal located? Here I am, there is the deal. Do you think consumers are being stalked by advertisers? Quicker Feet is completely opt-in. So um, there is nothing delivered to the application and no message delivered to the consumer unless they want it to. Uh, for example, when you open the application, only then will you see what is directly around you. What response have you had from retailers? Uh, the response has been um, overwhelming, I guess. Traditionally, um, any technology has always driven consumers to a website, so online and away from bricks and mortar retail. What Quicker Feet enables the user, and therefore what's exciting for the retailer, is to drive them back into bricks and mortar um, retail. But the location aware technology has the potential to save more than just dollars, it could save lives. For example, in a, a fire situation. West Australian company Motify has created a framework that tracks phones and can alert people based on their location. Say, for example, with the, the Rolly Stone fire. Uh, they would be able to draw a, a, a fence around a particular zone, that zone might be five kilometre radius, and send a message out to people telling them of the danger, telling them where to muster, um, telling them when, when it's, clear, it's safe to return. 
The company has just been awarded an Australian patent and is hoping to sell the technology to authorities around the world. It's about getting that communication, that constant communication, real time to people and getting feedback. People can be witnesses to, to outbreaks uh, within a, a, if a disaster is happening and, and then FISA can actually then use that information to make decisions and, and deploy their troops. Telstra estimates that in the next year, more than half the phones used in Australia will be smartphones. Where do you see things in a few years' time? I think with this technology, you know, the sky really is the limit. The, the consumer uptake is uh, very, very large. The growth of these smartphones um, is unprecedented. People always embrace new technology and then are always kind of freaked out when they realise what that technology actually can do. And I, I think that's a normal part of the technological cycle. <laughs> From, from a marketer's point of view, it's, it's extraordinarily valuable and, it'll, um, and access to that information will become more and more um, important. It'll just become, the, it'll underpin everything you do, really. The Perth boss of advertising agency 303 believes the balance of power has shifted in the consumer's favour. Three years ago you had three television stations in Perth, now you've got you know, 10 or 11, I think, and more. You've got uh, you know, a plethora of radio stations, you used to have four or five now, with digital you can have you know, hundreds. That means traditional methods of advertising have gone out the window. The consumers will be able to filter out what they want to, what message they want to receive and what they don't want to receive. So I think from a consumer's point of view, that's, um, they have less invasion uh, of, of uh, commercial, you know, inf you know, commercial messages. You know, they, they'll ultimately just be choosing what they want to hear. With location information, advertisers can find out even more about shoppers' habits. It's really about just a, you know, drilling down to the consumer very specifically and having a you know, much more interactive relationship with them, a one-to-one -one relationship with them.